This video is brought to you by the Glasgow University Charity Fashion Show. This year we're raising money for Refugee, a brilliant charity based here in Glasgow, who aim to welcome and integrate new refugees into the city. If you want to find out more or donate, be sure to click the link in the description and it will give you all the information you need. What is everyone saying? If what is everyone saying? It's your boy, someone who's back again. I'm here today at London King's Cross and in today's video, I'm going to be heading up to Edinburgh. But not with LNER, but with Lumo, the brand new low-cost railway service. I'm excited, I can't lie. I want to see what the trains are like, what the journey's like, if anything's different to LNER, and you're going to be joining me. So let's go. So today is the 25th of October 2021. Today is the first day of passenger services on Lumo. I'm going to be travelling on the first northbound train here from London King's Cross. Uh, the first train is supposed to leave at 10.45. Uh, I've arrived at 9.45 and um, the train ain't supposed to get in until like half past. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next 45 minutes. but. We're just gonna have a chill, uh, look around. There's a lot of COP26 um, branding here. From what I see, it's gonna be a packed train. The first trains are actually all sold out for the first week, which is absolutely immense. I've got my ticket. Actually, no, 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 we're gonna skip that to the end. We can keep that to the end. stuff baby
We're gonna have a cheeky seat top. The leg room is absolutely immense. For a standard class only train, I'm six foot. This is a lot of space. This is a lot of space, man. Look how far my legs go in. Nah, man, this is this is beautiful. Look at that. I've also got a light on the seat as well. So, press that. I'm gonna bring down the table. The table actually pulls back. So you see if I'm working on my laptop there, I've got plenty of space. And it actually reaches all the way down, which is decent. On the headrest here, you've also got these little pads here. So, you know, you could rest like that, rest like that. You know, I've only seen these on the Caledonian sleeper. And for this to be actually on a regular train, hey, I'm excited, I'm excited. And then on course on the side, you've got a very little, very, very small armrest. I do think these seats are probably the most comfortable so far in terms of Hitachi trains. The ones on the GWR, LNER, they all feel the same, I think. Uh, this is, you know, I guess we're gonna have to see. Four and a half hours, we're gonna see if this stands the test of time. Oh, and how could I forget? Oh, let's plug socket. USBs, USBs. So I'm gonna be charging my phone on this train. Deployed the table. Let's do it. That is chunky. What? Breakfast time. This past here is hench cuts. You, this is like a mud, mud. Okay, we're gonna try it. Mm. I, have to, I have to take off my mask. Man. Okay. It's nice and hot. Feels like it's been, you know, done or heated up on the train. But they would have gone straight from King's Cross. I'm liking it. So you've seen me use the Luma Eat service, but Luma also has Luma baggage. So Luma, they are able to pick up your luggage at a destination, take it along, I don't know how, I don't know, some magic van or some plane or whatever, and then it gets dropped off at your location. It's quite cheap if you look at the prices, which will be right here. The price that you're paying for the train ticket is actually quite a good value because essentially I've not actually seen many luggage spaces. We're going to have a tour of the train in a second, we'll see what's happening but it seems to be some good luggage storage, you know, just above instead of, you know, at the ends of the car so we'll have a look and see what's uh, going on.
I've just walked through the whole train. I've gone down to coach E at the front, and you can see like there isn't much luggage space there. I guess that's why they kind of plug in, you know, Lumo baggage. You know, you got luggage at the top above the seats, but at the end of those cars, not really many. There's a dog. Oh my. A dog. It's a dog. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna check out on the toilets on the train. I see. It's open. Boom. But I lock. The door. The door, the door is, is now locked. Ooh, spacious. <laughs> Toilet in the corner. Got the you know typical flush button and the thing to hold down if you need to grab onto the pole. Of course, bin. Me. Ooh, ooh. Me again. Ooh, ooh. Damn. And yeah, of course, massive sick. I just feel this looking nice and fresh, you know? Can't really say much about a toilet, can I? But I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> uh, toilets at the end of the train have more room for baby changing. Are you sure about that? Do you not have enough space already? This is a lot of space. The same sticker. Yeah, okay, it makes sense here, but on the other one. Bro, come on, Lumo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Of course, same facilities, but in a smaller area toilet, dryer, water, soap. Boom. Soap works. Wow, my voice just broke there. Water works. And that's hot, hot. Dryer? Oh. York Station because this train doesn't stop at York. You look on a map, you can literally see how when trains go into York, they go in on a curve and then they come back onto the main line. We've just gone past that, back onto the main line, and then up to Newcastle. Hitachi Class 800s, AO1s, AO2s, 800s. The lights are always like so, so bright. And I feel like on this one, it's, it's not as, it's hard to explain, but it's just like, it's not bright that it hurts, it hurts your eyes. You know, say when it gets like, when it starts to get dark on these trains, imagine like on LNER trains, it's hard to sleep. It's hard to sleep because it's so bright. But, okay, I don't know if my camera's gonna pick this up, but it's like, uh, 
yellowy tinge, you know. And then also up here, you got like a, I don't know, it's like UV type sunglasses like, like window. You know, it's a little touches, it's a little touches. But now, nah, if you get on one of these trains and then you get on a, a class 800 or 801, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Because, <laughs> you know, or maybe I'm just chatting BS. Maybe I'm just going crazy. So as you can see, I've arrived in Edinburgh Waverley. That was a very nice ride with Lumo. Honestly, the positives, the leg space, the seats were absolutely amazing. You know, that's like first class stuff on standard class. I think the one maybe gripe I've always had with the, the Hitachi trains is the luggage space. But that is kind of remedied with Lumo luggage. So I guess, you know, I'm gonna have to try that out someday. Maybe not now, because I ain't got the money. But we'll try that maybe Christmas time or another time when I'm moving a whole load of luggage down. I guess for me right now, I'm not taking the train to Glasgow. I am Baroque. So I'm gonna be taking the lovely 900. My bus is in half an hour at the bus station, so I'm just gonna get that. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Man, it is a beautiful but windy day here in Edinburgh. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see in the future. It's been your boy Simon Explores. My glasses are really like... <laughs> you see the glare? Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.